On today's show, Hyundai puts together an international team of top talent to run its Genesis luxury brand, Acura updates the MDX, and green cars continue to make progress in the American market. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Acura just introduced a refreshed version of the MDX. It keeps the same look as the outgoing model, but it's available with a few new colors, and the interior received minor upgrades as well. For the first time, the MDX is available with an A-spec variant. It offers a sportier appearance and has unique touches both inside and out. The MDX is still powered by a 3.5 liter V6, but its 9-speed automatic transmission has been improved for smoother acceleration. A base version starts at $45,295, but the price jumps to over $62,000 with all-wheel drive and the advance and entertainment packages. The 2019 MDX goes on sale next month. Geocaching is an outdoor activity that sees people using navigation techniques to find containers called geocaches or just caches. They're typically filled with all sorts of things, including trackables that are shared between people or taken from one cache to another. The activity has become so popular that Skoda has launched 500 of its own trackable geocoins for hunters to seek out. The five coins feature vehicles from Skoda's history, including its very first car in 1905, to a Skoda Rapide that circumnavigated the globe in 1936. If you're interested in looking, they are currently located at sites around the Czech Republic, France, Germany, Portugal, Canada, the US, Australia, and New Zealand. Still to come, Hyundai poaches top talent from outside Korea to run its Genesis luxury brand. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Hyundai is a proud company that is equally proud to be South Korean. But when it decided to create Genesis and make luxury cars, it knew it had to hire the best talent in the world. So the head of the brand globally is Manfred Fitzgerald, an American who worked at Lamborghini. The head of performance engineering is Albert Biermann, a German who used to run BMW's M division. And Luke Donkerwolke, a Belgian who heads up design, was hired away from Bentley. These three brought in even more talent from outside Korea and now have quite the international team of top talent. And it shows Genesis cars can compete with the best. Japan's K cars with dinky 660cc engines will put a smile on your face. Here's the latest from Honda, the N-Van. It sits on the same platform as the N-Box, which would be an appropriate way to describe the styling of the van. It's available in front or four-wheel drive with either a CVT or a six-speed manual. Note the pillarless opening between the passenger front and sliding door. It makes for a huge space to get people or cargo in and out of. The van went on sale last week with a starting price of a little over $11,000, and there's already a dedicated website for customizing the N-Van. And coming up next, green car sales continue to show impressive growth in the U.S. At Bridgestone, our engineers want to help make sure you're not stuck on the side of the road. Our revolutionary drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and drive up to 50 miles. Ready to go. Watch our latest Archer demo at BridgestoneTire.com. Sales of green cars continue to make progress in the American market. Total sales for the first half of the year came to 287,000 vehicles, up more than 7% compared to the overall market being up just 2%. Even though hybrids represent the biggest segment, sales continue to fall. But sales of electrics, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cells are growing dramatically. Even so, you do have to put these numbers in perspective. These vehicles still only account for a little over 3% of total vehicle sales. But if they can maintain this kind of growth, sales will top a million vehicles in the next decade. And hey, be sure to join us for AutoLine After Hours this Thursday. 
we've got a treat for you. An all-electric Corvette from a company called Genovation. Not only is it beautifully engineered, it's wicked fast. Greg Migliori from Autoblog will also be there, so join John and Gary for some of the best insights into cars and the people who make them. That brings us to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.